Hi everyone, this is Andrew with Spark Finance. And a lot of people have heard about the space race. You know, that was a big epic competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to try and get into space and develop as many products as they could to maybe even weaponize space or explore space or to find out what they could really do, the knowledge that they can unleash by doing that. And there was a lot of new things that came about in that time. Well, we're in a new era now and there's actually a new space race that is occurring. And if you've been following the news, you probably have seen it all over the news with how many different records are being broken in recent years regarding space exploration. But where did that all come from? When you look back on it, the first flight was around 1903 when the Wright brothers, they had their first test flight and it was actually operational aircraft. After that, you had commercial aircraft take off for the next 50 years. And then you had the first human being setting foot on the moon in 1969, which is about 66 years after the first aircraft took off from the ground in the world. I mean, that's pretty incredible. But then what has happened from all that time from 1969 till now? I mean, yes, there were other Apollo missions. There were other inventions in the space field, but it was just not on the same level of very rapid expansion and innovation in that brief period that you had during the space race. So now what's happened is, I believe it was a few years ago, we had NASA take a back burner to actual space exploration and passed it on to the private sector. They were no longer going to run the deliveries to the International Space Station. They were gonna rely on the private sector to be able to deliver crew and materials to space. So now you have a whole bunch of private companies with the profit motive, which is very important, which are now driving that industry. And there are three big ones, but there's also more I'll get, go into later. But you have SpaceX, you have Blue Origin, and you have Virgin Galactic and Virgin Orbit. So these companies are very big. And if you look at some of the records that just happened, there's a big reason why we're able to innovate now in this era. We have reusable rockets to deliver payloads, whether they're satellites or personnel, into space. This is something that we never had before. They used to shoot the rocket ship up and then they would just let the rocket <laughs> fade away and they wouldn't retrieve it or anything. And that'd be millions of dollars in cost on that rocket. That would uh, be a loss on every mission. Now when there's a mission, you have a rocket from SpaceX or Blue Origin they shoot up, they release the payload or the capsule into space, and the rocket comes back down and lands on a platform on the Earth, which is pretty incredible in of itself to be able to see that technology in action and actually have it be able to do that. So that's something that's brought the cost of these launches into space way down. And that's huge because when you drive down the cost of something, you can have a lot more entrepreneurs go into that field and try and do things that we were never able to do before. And we're seeing a lot of those records happen. So SpaceX, that was a company that was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk, who was a billionaire. And you know, on a good day or bad day right now, he's the um, richest man in the United States. But when you have a huge backing like that and you have them from 2002 to 2021, trying to do some crazy, testing, experimenting, and they can spend a lot of money on it, they were able to break a record such as delivering the most payloads to space on one mission. So they had a rocket shoot up 143 satellites on one payload. So that was pretty incredible. It broke the previous record, which I believe was around 103 on one payload. So you could see that was a, a large increase. The cost of delivering a satellite to space with this method actually went down to about a million dollars a piece. And the costs just keep coming down on this, which is great to hear. Another thing that SpaceX broke a record on was when on September 15th, 2021, they had the Inspiration4 mission. This was where the ship Resilience or I guess I should say the rocket Resilience was launched into space and it had four crew members that were all civilian. This is the first time, this is a record because the, this is the first time that it was an all civilian crew. There was no trained astronauts on board. There was no specific pilots like you'd have in the past. These were all just civilians. And there was one guy, Jacob Isaacson, that Isaac Min, he, he was actually the one that funded this whole operation. He's a tech billionaire 
from Shift for Payments. And he funded, the, it's an undisclosed sum that he gave to SpaceX to be able to do this. And he donated the other three seats on the capsule to other civilian crew members. And then it also raised $100 million for the charity for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. So it did, it was for a good cause. He spent the money on a vision that this guy really wanted to do. He was a pilot his whole life. He really wanted to go into space and experience that. And it allowed other civilians to go into space as well. So this mission was a, a great success and it went very smoothly. There was, there was no issues. And now we're seeing, hey, we can actually deliver civilians without any trained pilots or astronauts into space. Kind of like on a commercial aircraft, you go for a ride from one city to the other. You don't necessarily have to be a pilot yourself. You have the company or systems take care of that for you. So that was a big revolutionary leap forward that we had. Another thing with this is that SpaceX, a little while before that even, they delivered astronauts to the International Space Station, fulfilling one of NASA's contracts. And that's the first time that a private enterprise delivered astronauts and materials to the International Space Station. So you can see that's, I mean, that's three records right there that they did, but they're not the only ones breaking records in this field. And They've done a lot of, th they have the Falcon 9 rocket is their main rocket where they can shoot it up and reuse it. They have the Falcon Heavy that they're building. The mission of SpaceX was supposedly to make human beings a multi-planetary species by allowing us to get to Mars with rockets that they develop. That's a pretty ambitious goal. Now, Blue Origin, on the other hand, Blue Origin was actually founded a little bit earlier than SpaceX. It was founded in 2000, yeah, 2000 by Jeff Bezos. Now, Jeff Bezos, naturally the creator of Amazon and another billionaire, it's one of the richest men in the world, if not the richest, he has a lot of funding to fund this research and a development for this company, which is currently privately held. And they did the same thing with the reusable rockets. And they had recently had a mission on October 13th, 2021. And they sent four civilian crew members up on their rocket ship called New Shepard. So this was another one that broke some, some records because they had a, a certain individual on this flight that was, it means a lot for a lot of people that were big into sci-fi. They had William Shatner, who was the actor for Captain Kirk on the Star Trek TV show series, which aired first in 1966, I believe. So it is a very old TV show and it was one of the like, first TV shows that really went into sci-fi and had people going out into space and exploring space. I mean, it was all about him being the captain of a ship. There were a bunch of explorers going around space. So you can see here the theme of kind of really pushing forward the vision of what they're trying to do as a company. William Shatner was 90 years old now. So that was the record is that he is now the oldest human being to ever be launched into space and make it back down successfully. So when he got out of the capsule, he steps out of the capsule and he tells everybody on the ground that that was the most profound experience that he could imagine and that everybody should try it. What you have given me is the most profound experience I can imagine. Uh, I'm so filled with emotion about what just happened. I, I just, it's extraordinary, extraordinary. So those are pretty strong words from somebody that, you know, was been involved through the TV series and through sci-fi into the whole concept and idea of exploring space and what's around, you know, Mother Earth here. So that was a, a pretty interesting situation you had there as well. And Blue Origin and SpaceX are continuing to go and break records like this. And then there's other companies that we're also seeing taking the track here of trying to deliver civilians to space, sending up satellites. You have Virgin Galactic, which had a split off for Virgin Orbit. Virgin Galactic, which is publicly traded, is the one that's trying to do space tourism and send people up to space for a, a, a certain fee. Then they have space, they have Virgin Orbit, which actually delivers the satellites into space. You have Rocket Labs, this is another company, along with Astra, and those both had SPACs or special purpose acquisition companies do mergers with them so that they could be publicly traded. And I have a whole separate video on what a SPAC is and how exactly it works if you're interested in that. 
But in this case, it was just so that we now have, you know, more than three publicly traded companies that are in this space industry now. And you also have uh, Momentus is another one. So all of these companies, I know Rocket Labs, I believe they've done over a hundred satellite deliveries already to space. Blue Origin, of course, is owned still by Jeff Bezos and it's a privately held company. And SpaceX says they don't want to actually become a publicly traded company until they get closer to that vision of making Earth a multi-planetary species and getting to Mars. So they're trying to hold off on their IPO as well. And they're making so much money now, they may not even need it. So it's kind of interesting there. But there's a few different ways that people can play this. But once again, we're seeing a lot of innovation in this sector when you're opening it up to the private sector and the profit motive to be able to really go out there and create new technologies. Who knows what new tools for everyday use that we can get out of this. When we had the space race back in the day, there was certain, certain foods and materials and plastics and electronics that were developed for the space program that made their way into everyday life and really enhanced our lives. So it's great to see that. And it's, it's kind of inspirational to watch this happening. And if you want any jobs in mechanical engineering, there's gonna be a lot of them over in Florida for SpaceX where they launched and in Texas where Blue Origin was launching their flight. So it's one thing to see when these companies are gonna actually get so big that they're gonna be kind of powerhouse names that everybody knows around the world? Or is this something where maybe it's gonna struggle for a few years, but the trajectory right now looks really good. It looks like we're trying to expand our frontier and maybe we will become a multi-planetary species, or maybe we will learn new parts of the cosmos of the universe that we were never able to know before. So that's pretty exciting. And from a financial standpoint, if you're an investor, it's a good idea to keep watch on some of these early companies, right? I mean, you're looking at somebody like Jeff Bezos who had Amazon, which was one of the most successful stocks and companies of the past 20 years. You have Elon Musk who had Tesla, which kind of revolutionized the entire car industry so that now every car company is going to be making electric cars. So maybe where these guys are leading, these billionaires are kind of leading a new industry that's a direction to watch. Thank you all for watching. This is Andrew with Spark Finance. If you wanna check out some of my other videos, like, subscribe, comment, send me a letter in the mail, send me some crackers, I don't know. I gotta get out of here. Hope you enjoy your day. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, and liftoff.